Welcome to Americana Archives. Today we have part 5, the last part of the story with the headline, Policeman's Adventures. The subheadline says, Members of the Force tell of their most dangerous experiences with lawbreakers. Today's installment is entitled, Subdued a Thief with a Slungshot. It says, Noted for his courage, his physical strength, and dexterous use of the revolver, is police officer Jim Mount, the ex-cowboy. He ran the river beat for many years, and no one was more sincerely respected by the tough element that he was called to keep in check than Jim Mount. Jim was business from the ground up, to a height of about 6 feet 2 inches, and none knew it better than the river rats and pirates, with whom he had frequent occasion to come into rather disagreeable contact. He used his fists with as much force as the club, and demonstrated at several trying periods that when he threw his revolver down from the shoulder, cowboy fashion, there was apt to be a fresh hole in something beside the circumambient atmosphere. One night before Mount had left his home to go on duty, he was still in his shirt sleeves, just lounging about. He heard a great hue and cry of stop thief, and without a moment's hesitation, he rushed down to see what was the matter. As he came to the alley below, he saw a man approaching, a revolver in his hand. Out of the way, cried the man, out of the way, on your life. Mount wasn't that kind of a man. He'd get out of the way for no one. The fugitive fired, and the next instant, the weapon was snatched from him. Mount had no weapon beyond the slingshot which he carried in his hip pocket. He used it with such telling effect that the thief was subdued. Sullen and muttering curses, he was taken to Hammond Street Station. Mount's wound was a slight one, but for his bravery, he was highly complimented. The fellow captured by him was a desperate thief named Blinkley. He had snatched the till from a saloon on Pike Street, and but for the daring intervention of Mount, would have escaped. As it was, he went to the penitentiary. This article was written by Gus J. Crager. This story came from the great state of Ohio, being reported in the Cincinnati Commercial Gazette of July 21, 1895. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.